the climate impact of Bitcoin's proof of work mining is always under a microscope. Since the Bitcoin ETFs, though, we've seen more support for proof of work. And now Google just announced a really interesting partnership that might flip Bitcoin mining on its head. Welcome back, everyone. That's right. Bitcoin price is pumping, and we are not going to talk about the price, even though I just talked about the price. Anyways, what we are going to talk about are actually bullish developments for proof-of-work mining. Google's nuclear power plan could revolutionize cryptocurrency mining. And I hate that they say that because the truth of the matter is, is that it's not cryptocurrency mining. It's only Bitcoin mining. Anyways, the advent of small modular reactors should make on-site nuclear energy economically feasible at scale. And guys, I know that this sounds really amazing, but I'm going to pull some numbers in later that I, I think are just going to make this a little more realistic. I'm not saying already that, hey, this isn't as good as it seems. No, it's not about that. What I'm doing is, is that I'm just setting the expectation for Number one, these are going to be extremely expensive units. And number two, I don't think that we should necessarily expect that they're going to be used regularly anytime soon. The U.S. will soon develop and deploy its first commercial small modular reactor, or SMR. And SMR is a nuclear power source with a much smaller infrastructure footprint than traditional fission reactor plants. These so-called next generation reactors are also purported to be much safer. And for the people who do pay attention uh, to what's going on in energy, you know that when it comes to nuclear power, we often hear about the dangers and we are always reminded about the horrors, right? When things go wrong with nuclear power plants. So that's kind of why it's a, it's a double-edged sword, this this story, you know, like part of it is like, yes, we're taking a step in the right direction. You know, Bitcoin mining is kind of maybe indirectly helping push these, uh, you know, the, the further research into these technologies. But at the same time, they, they have this stigma, you know, that if something goes wrong at the nuclear, at the nuclear reactor, that it, it just absolutely is devastating for, for anybody in the approximate area. Unlike traditional reactors, SMRs can be manufactured in a factory and then shipped to a client location. Functionally, these platforms can be set up to produce as much as 300 megawatts of energy and could feasibly be built almost anywhere. Just to put things in perspective, right? The number of Bitcoin miners that it could be powered with 300 megawatts depends on the amount of power each of those miners uh, consumes. But essentially, an estimate that was made uh, came out to about 90,000 uh, Bitcoin miners. We can automatically assume that Google is not doing this on their own, even though they do have incredibly deep pockets. And they probably could hire the talent and build the facilities themselves. They're actually working with a company named Keros Power. And uh, they inked a long-term deal with Google to develop and bring the company's first small modular reactor online by 2030. Let's see if they can actually stick to that timeline, right? Because that really is only six years away. Believe it or not, six years, it's actually less than six years because we're almost in 2025, but um, time flies, right? Time flies. So let's see if this actually, let's see if this, if this timeline can actually be met. And the article, of course, goes in and reminds everybody again that, hey, Proof of work mining is actually not that bad. SMRs could be the cryptocurrency mining industry's most economically efficient and environmentally friendly method for energy generation. I hate that they keep saying cryptocurrency. It's really, it's only Bitcoin. <laughs> It's the only thing that's actually being mined in these massive facilities. But anyways, anyways. So before we wrap up, just to give people a, a you know some something to think about. Um, essentially, these SMRs, right? The the costs are not exact right now, but they would essentially be expected to cost between fifty million dollars and three billion dollars. Okay. Now, of course, the big um, the the big upside for this is that 
they should get significantly cheaper after the initial rollouts. So bullish for Bitcoin? I think so. I do think so. And this kind of goes back to some original, uh, a lot of older uh, Bitcoiner narratives that essentially this, this endless need for cheap energy is going to drive energy innovation. And I think that this particular news with Google teaming up with Keros Power might just be an example of that. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.